In lessons up to this point, we've been using the base flange method. I've referred to the base flange method as the new sheet metal method, which is kind of a relative term since it's about 10 years old. The alternative to the base flange new method is the old method, which is called insert bends. And in the sheet metal tools, insert bends looks like this. In this lesson, we're going to go through how to create a couple of parts using the insert bends method. There are a couple of types of parts that can only be created with this method. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new part from an infinite skills template. And this is going to be one of our favorite parts, the rectangle. Okay, let's just add some dimensions so we get a sense of scale here. Let's make it 10 inches by 14. Press F for zoom to fit. And instead of using sheet metal features, let's just switch over to the regular features tab and use an extrude. Extrude this 4 inches. Next, I'm going to use the shell command and shell this out to a thickness of 029. And now I will switch over to the sheet metal tab and use the insert bends technique. I want to have a fixed face that stays stationary when everything else flattens out, so that's pretty easy to select as the bottom of the box. I'll establish the default inside radius. Also, the bend allowance and auto relief will leave those at default values. Rip parameters, I'm going to select the inside corners of each of these corners and SOLIDWORKS is going to rip these out so that it can all be flattened. Once you've got everything set, press the green check. So SOLIDWORKS is telling us that auto relief cuts were made in the corners to allow for the bends. And if we take a look at this, we can now flatten out the part. We take a look in the corner, you can see what SOLIDWORKS has done to make the auto reliefs work. That's because the bend is coming in together, and if these bends overlap in any place, that creates geometry that's a little too complex for SOLIDWORKS sheet metal. In the formed up state, these corners look like this. So you can see that the feature tree created by an insert bends process is very different from the feature tree created by the base flange process. Let's tile the windows to show these feature trees side by side. So I'll go to Window, Tile Vertically, and while one has a lot more features than the other, you can still see that there are some major differences between how SOLIDWORKS has dealt with these two different processes for creating sheet metal parts. The old method has a feature that's called flatten bends, so it takes your sharp edged part and flattens out all the bends. And then it reprocesses the bends, and then at the very end, it will flatten them out again. This is kind of a confusing process, and it's part of the reason why SOLIDWORKS developed a new method. In the new method, you just start out with sheet metal, and you work with sheet metal features all the way through. And then at the very end, SOLIDWORKS will flatten out the part for you so you can get a drawing of it. This is a much more straightforward method. It's very powerful. It has more options available. But if you were to create a part like, say, a rolled cone, there's no way to do that without the insert bends process. Let's go through creating a rolled cone in SOLIDWORKS. I'll draw a angled line and a straight construction line. And using just regular features, I'm going to revolve the sketch and I don't want SOLIDWORKS to close the sketch for me automatically. I'll set this to 59 degrees rather than 360, so it has an open end and is able to flatten out. And now we'll use the sheet metal, insert bends, and grab this edge to flatten it out. If you need to design this type of part, the insert bends method is the only way to do it. Let's form that up again so you can see it. Again, when I revolved it, the trick here is to revolve it 359 degrees instead of 360. 
so that it has an opening and can be flattened. This part will be saved in your Infinite Skills Working Files folder so you can refer to it if you need to look at the example.